हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर अन ऑक्सीजेनिक फोटो सिंथिस मैकेनिज्म इन पर्पल बैक्टेरिया वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ द मैकेनिज्म और हाउ द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स फ्लो फ्रॉम द रिएक्शन सेंटर पी एट सेवेंटी एंड इट इज अ साइक्लिक प्रोसेस ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दैट P eight seventy. It is the reaction center. Light is been transferred to this reaction center. It get excited. Then uh, from this excited state, that is a strong electron donor. It can donate the electron, and here hydrogen sulfide act as a electron donor. It is the strong electron donor. So from this excited state, electron get transferred to bacteriophytin, bacteriochlorophyll. These are the light harvesting molecules. From this, electrons are transferred to quinone molecules like quinone A, quinone B, and quinone pool. Here, electrons are being stored, and then uh, the stored electrons are transferred to cytochrome B C one. From cytochrome B C one, electron get transferred to cytochrome C two. and again back to the ground state p870 okay reaction center uh we have also discussed the point that uh, as this uh, as there is the flow of electron uh, this uh, generates the energy and it pumps the h plus ion it pumps the hydrogen ion from inside the cell to the outside the cell and there is the high a density gradient at the outside of the cell which will which will or this proton will come down back to the cell which will help to produce the atp okay so that was overall concept and it is the cyclic process so this proton motive force it helps for the generation of atp and nadph molecules now here in this lecture we are going to see the term called as the reverse electron flow or it is no also known as the autotrophy in purple bacteria okay now here what happen uh, there is electron uh, uh, there is the transfer of electrons okay and uh, the concept i have told you about the reduction potential okay the positive and negative value what that indicate in this scale of reduction potential which is measured in the volts okay so here negative value it indicates that it is the strong electron donor so as it as it donates the electron it comes to the it comes to the positive value okay as it comes to the positive value means what there is insufficiency of electron it becomes insufficient to donate the electron okay and that insufficiency uh, it may result in the lack of nadh molecule okay it may uh, we lose the concentration of nadh okay so this electron flow as it reaches to the positive value means what it indicates that that particular molecule is insufficient in donating the electron wo abhi electron donate nahi kar sakta okay and here the quinone pool or the quinone molecules this are the uh, center molecule okay the e0 it will see the e0 for the quinone molecules for the quinone pool if we we'll talk about the quinone pool it is weak okay it is weak electron donor as well as a weak electron acceptor because it is about the zero value you will see the quinone pool it is about the zero value means what it is too weak to donate the electron and too weak to accept the electron okay so what is the case here the reduction potential of this quinone pool is about 0 volt okay and is insufficiently electro negative it is insufficiently electro negative to reduce nad plus to reduce nad plus directly to the nadph okay so what happens in this case the electron it goes reverse the electron it goes reverse because we want to store the energy we must store the energy and that energy storage is in the form of nadh okay that um, storage energy is in the form of nadh now nad is at the quinone center 
so here electron they get reverse back okay they get reverse back hence this is known as the reverse electron flow because we must store energy in the form of nadh and here it is important to reduce nad into the nadh or nadp into the nadph okay so here how it is reduced to how it this nad is reduced to nadph it needs the electron and electrons are provided from this quinone pool as the storage house of the electrons are the quinone and quinone are mobile carrier molecules so it can move the electron it can transport the electron or it can reverse back the electron to the nad as this nad accepts the electron it get reduced to nadph okay or nadh so it is the reverse electron flow and here we can uh, store the energy in the form of nadh and this is done by electron attaching to this nad as electron get attached to nad it get converted into nadph okay as uh, this is the reverse back and this is driven by how the electrons go back how they are attracted towards the back side because of the generation of proton motive force so here proton motive force it play very important role for generation of atp plus to go electron to the reverse back we know that atp it is the energy even in the form of atp also we can store the energy it is there but here nad as i told that this overall mechanism is based on the reduction potential okay is based on the reduction potential and nad molecule is best example of reduction potential so we store the energy in the form of nadh and hence electron reverse back hence electron reverse back with the or through this proton motive force to the nad plus and nad plus get reduced to nadh or nadp plus get reduced to nadph just there is addition of the phosphate and nothing else okay so that is the simple concept and uh, why this happen because what is the main aim what is the target to flow electron back the main target is that we want to store energy in the form of nadh we want to store energy in the form of nadh so electrons reverse back from quinone pool why from quinone pool because quinone pool is the store of the storage of the electron it is uh, in the quinone pool there is the a storage of electrons okay so from quinone pool it reverts back to the nad plus and converts into nadh that is the simple mechanism and why it happens the reason is that we want to store the energy in the form of nadh but second reason is that your quinone pool at the quinone site uh, the e0 value is about 0 okay the e value is about 0 for the quinone okay and here it lacks um, it is a weak electron donor as well as weak electron acceptor but it has the stored electron so it reverses back okay the answer itself is completely in the completely in this mechanism of the uh, purple bacteria of this um, unoxygenic photosynthesis okay so that is just the simple thing which uh, was uh, remained in the first part of the lecture um and it is not at all confusing just you have to keep in mind if you know the complete cycle it will be very easy to understand this reverse electron flow which is also known as autotrophy in purple bacteria okay so that was all about this uh, purple bacteria the mechanism of an oxygenic photosynthesis so yes i hope it will be helpful for you and you might have understood this concept thank you